Welcome to Late Night Creations. My name is Kendra, and on this channel we do DIYs, decor makeovers, thrift flips, home decor on a budget, and so much more. Hello and welcome. I'm so glad you're here because today I have some really pretty boho decor items that I made for my niece. Okay, she's not actually my niece, she's my cousin. I just call her my niece um, for her baby shower, but you could totally use it in everyday decor. Let's get started crafting. first project I did was this gorgeous wall hanging that matched her nursery and I had this half wood round that I had started doing an, on another project but I decided to use it for this one and so I had mixed up this paint to use on several projects for her and I was calling it boho white because it just I just added a little bit of um, I don't even remember what I added to it it's been a while since I did this so I just mixed it the color I wanted it and so I gave it some good coats um, to get the coverage that I wanted. And I made this stencil on my Cricut. And now I'm just measuring to get the center of my image and then the center of my wood piece so that I can get this thing centered in the middle. And then I peeled it off and I'm uh, oh, peeling off my transfer tape and just going slow. I know I've sped it up, but I just, you know, kind of take it slow so that it all comes off good. And then you know I'm gonna use that transfer tape again for another project. So I'm just kind of pressing it down, making sure that it gets burnished on there nice and flat. Then I'm going to use my Mod Podge and give it a good coat all the way across so that it seals all those edges so that paint doesn't get up underneath there. After letting it dry completely, I'm gonna go in with all these different beautiful colors to make this cute little boho rainbow decor piece. I, I mixed a lot of these colors myself because I didn't have the colors that I needed and I didn't really wanna go buy a whole bottle just for those colors. So I just mixed them up. As you can see, they're in jars and paper cups and what have you. And so I'm just dabbing with um, makeup sponge, you can see. That works really good and just dab, dab, dab. I've got some of those little dabbers that I got at, I'm not even sure, maybe Michael's, maybe Hobby Lobby, maybe who knows where. Anyway, you can find them all over. You can get them at Dollar Tree. So I'm going to carefully try to pull this off because my paint is still a little um, wet. That dries really fast, but oh no. And then I'll throw a little temper tantrum because it pulled my paint off. So I was a little disappointed, but not to worry because I'm just gonna take that boho white paint that I mixed up and I'm just going to touch it up. Now, this set me back a little on my time, so I was disappointed, but things happen and that, that was out of my control. I didn't, I've done stencils a gajillion times and sometimes it just happens I don't know there's not really any rhyme or reason to why sometimes it peels the paint off and sometimes it doesn't I've sealed the paint I've not sealed the paint I've I've done it all different kinds of ways and sometimes it peels off and sometimes it doesn't okay now to these fun little hangy things my husband is videotaping this so I apologize but I'm gonna cut this macrame yarn all the same length you could use regular yarn if you want to i think that would look great i just bought this macrame yarn because this is what i wanted to do i got it on amazon it was um not that expensive and i have been using that same roll that you see there on my coffee table for lots and lots of projects i'm using my stapler to staple finding the halfway mark and stapling it halfway that was the best way that i knew how to do it and then I have a piece on the front and a piece on the back. Then I just sat while I watched TV and untwisted every single one of those strands. There's three strands on each one. Now, if you like the way it looks without them untwisted, by all means, leave it. But I untwisted them. And then I thought I was gonna take, not that comb laying there, I had a different wide tooth comb. I thought I was going to comb it out because I've seen people do that. Um, no, I made a big, huge mess and decided I was not going to do that, that I liked the way that they looked just fine. But when I'm doing this right here with my fingers, I'm kind of combing them. 
So that's what I ended up doing. No, that comb, and then I had that pick, and I had another wide tooth comb. So anyway, I'm telling you that you do that with every single one of them all the way over, and this is what it looks like. I really love how this turned out. So then I'm combing them all, get them all combed straight down, and then I can't remember if I, I've made several of these. The best thing to do is have a really sharp pair of scissors and not be holding your phone in one hand. <laughs> and I think I used some painter's tape to tape it so I knew where to, t where to cut. I don't know if I did that on this project, but that is the advice I would give you. I think maybe that's what I ended up doing, putting some painter's tape down and cutting um, like my mom used to do when she cut my bangs. She would, use ma she would use masking tape to cut my bangs so she could get them straight. And I always had really cute bangs when I was a little girl. Okay, so there it is, all finished. It turned out really cute. We used it as decor at the baby shower. Um, my husband and I also made that cupcake stand. Um, it was super easy. If I can find the link to the to the girl that we watched make it, I'll do that. I also made this little basket I got at Ross. I just added that little tag, put the decal on it. I did not get any footage of me making it, but it was super easy to make. I just thought I would add the picture of it in here. Now these little vases were super easy to make. I did not, yeah, I did get a picture of it. I, I'm, I'm jumping ahead of myself. Okay, so I have these hearts that I bought on Amazon in bulk, and they are um, they were super cheap. And so I'm going to paint them in the colors that I want. I've got some more. See, I'm still using this yarn, this macrame yarn, and I'm going to just wrap it around however many times I want to. And yep, I used hot glue on that glass, and it's and it stayed pretty good. I'm just gonna wrap it around and around and around. And each time I'm wrapping it around, I'm kind of pressing it up into the row before. You can kind of see that I'm pressing it up in there. Now, I videotaped this a long time ago before I had my camera angle down and my, all this, right when I very first, I don't even know if I had my YouTube channel yet when I recorded this. I was just thinking about doing a YouTube channel, I think. I don't know, maybe I already did have it, but I had a lot to learn yet, but anyway, I hope you can get the gist of it. Then I'm just gluing that cute little painted heart on there, and I just put that silly little greenery in there just to have some greenery in there, but that's not what we used at the shower, that we used that pampas grass at the shower, and I didn't get a really good picture. Someone sent me this picture that they took, and I also made that little pom-pom garland. Um, okay, here's the next DIY. I'm moving right along. Um, the next DIY, I got these off Amazon. Um, they are 14 inch and they were a little thinner than I wanted them to be. So I took two of them. I took this wood glue from Dollar Tree. I spread it all over it, making sure I got it all the way out to the edges. I took these little Dollar Tree clips, clamps, clamped it down all the way around, making sure it was all nice and even. And this is what I ended up with. And I made this stencil on my Cricut. This is the baby's name and I covered it in Mod Podge, just like I did the last project. I'm leaving the background natural on this one, so no paint's gonna peel. So using those same colors that we uh, mixed for the last project, I'm going to stencil, dab, 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 pounce, 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 and I'm going to paint her name. Um, her, and by the way, she is the cutest, sweetest little baby ever. Um, okay, so her name is Everett Monroe and just gonna do these beautiful little colors and dab, dab, dab. I mean, I don't know why you need to watch me paint so much, but I guess just to prove that I did paint it, I don't know. Anyway, dab, 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 dab. Up and down motion so that you don't, but pretty much if you put the Mod Podge on there, you don't get any seepage, but I'm always just scared I'm gonna get the seepage and when you put it on natural, you can't touch that up. Of course, I'm think I'm saving that. I've got that press and seal I'm putting over that paint so I can keep it. Um, I'm not sure what I'm doing here or why I'm showing you this. Why I didn't cut this out? I'm putting that. Oh, I'm putting that in a Ziploc bag to preserve in case I need to use it again in a little while. Now, when this dries, nope. What am I doing? Oh, I didn't get that good. I'm gonna pounce it a little more. Now. I don't know that, I don't really like to wait till it dries. I like to do it when it's still a little bit wet, but 
I can make a mess with it when it's wet sometimes, but I'm just gonna peel this off very carefully. Yeah, it's still wet. I can tell by the way that I'm wiping my hands in between <laughs> each time that I peel something off, but I'm using this little, I don't know, picker that I got at Dollar Tree. I don't know what you call that thing. It's, you use it when you, um, you know, weed vinyl or whatever. Picker, weeder, I don't know. What would you call that little pink thing with the, it's like a needle on the end. I call it my picker. So you can call it whatever you want to, just whatever. Sometimes I use my tweezers. A lot of times I use my tweezers for this too. Um, this little thing works pretty good. Um, I have one similar that I use that is, I think I got a Dollar Tree too, but it's like the Cricut one and it's pretty much just like the Cricut one, but way, a tenth of the cost. So I'm not sure why I'm showing you all this weeding out of these letters, but some people think it's kind of satisfying and it's very satisfying when you're doing it. I don't know if it is when you're watching it so much or not, but just showing you that I got all those letters out there and I love all the crisp lines. It turned out so good, y'all. I'm so happy with it. And the little mama was so happy with it too. She loved all the projects that I did for her. She and her sister both had babies a year apart and I did the showers for both of them and made them lots of goodies. And they're just so fun to make things for because they're so grateful. Okay, you can see on that E at the top, I had a little boo-boo and I said, you can't fix your boo-boos when you have a natural background, but I'm trying to use a little water to kind of erase that off of there, but it's just smeared a little bit. So I'm just gonna take that, that um, paint and kind of make that E have a little, just extend it a little bit and nobody even knows the difference. Okay, now I'm measure, I'm gonna make a hanger with those beads and some twine. And so I'm just measuring out my twine to see how long I want the hanger. And then I'm just gonna use some of that masking tape on the end of my twine to make, make a little makeshift needle on the end to poke through all of those beads. So just put it on there and twist it, twist it, twist it, and cut the little excess off, or did I use it all? I don't wanna cut the excess off. And sometimes I kinda of try to make it into a little point and then just twist it up. And then I'm just gonna feed all those beads through there and just keep feeding them through till I get however many on there I want. And I want the beads to go all the way. I want the whole thing to be full of beads. So I just keep feeding them on there till I get however many on there I want. And I kind of put it on there and see how it looks. And then I decided I wanted some more. So just get however many you want. And then I'm gonna, now here's the tricky part is you have to put it on there so that it doesn't hang crooked. Okay, I'm showing you that if you didn't want to do that, you could also use this hanger you just nail into the back. Those are really handy. I get those on Amazon, I love them too. Or you could just use a twine hanger. You know, we stick that on there a lot. Stick those on there, glue them on. Okay, but this one, I'm gonna just put a little bit of glue on there to keep that from going anywhere. I don't think it's gonna go anywhere anyway, but I just did it because it made me feel better. So now we have to decide where to put these or it could be hanging crooked. So I just made some little marks with my pencil so that I could see where I want the hangers to go. I'm just gonna put a line of hot glue down there, get my little silicone finger, and then I'm gonna put that in the hot glue. I'm gonna just cut the excess off. And then I have my little, I don't know if this is muslin, I think this is that canvas um, paint cloth, drop cloth, that I just cut up into little pieces. I had some extra. And so I just cut it up into little pieces and sometimes I just have some little muslin or you can use um, burlap ribbon or any kind of little ribbon or cloth or anything just to secure that a little bit more. And there it is. It turned out so cute. Now, I like to finish it off. You can use your any kind of finishing wax or um, you could even put some Mod Podge on. This That looks a little bit crusty right there. I don't know, I think maybe it was my brush. Um, I love this finishing paste. I bought that so long ago. I've used it on so many projects and I'm mostly doing it on just the wood. Then I'm gonna take that old t-shirt, that old white t-shirt that I've cut up into a million pieces and it just takes a tiny little piece to buff it out and look here, here's the mama holding her little sign. She loves it. 
Let me know what you think about this one. Would you try to recreate that? Okay, this was just a little piece that the bait could use in the baby's room. Um, we used it for a game that we played, um, but it turned out really cute. So I got these, I don't even know where I got this. I think I got that at Hobby Lobby on clearance. And then of course the little crate came from Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna paint this with the same colors that I've painted all the projects with. And I've, I used several things. So I used the paint brushes, and then I think I used a, a makeup sponge to dab the paint on. But I colored it up, colored, oh my goodness, I didn't color. I painted this in that same boho white as the base color. And then I am using those same colors that I mixed for everything else I painted. So everything looks all coordinating. So I'm telling you that I'm dabbing, not smearing, because it just works better. And it dries so fast too. Um, I teach Sunday school at my church, and. I let my kids paint a lot, but I make them paint with these sponges. I make them, I have them paint with these sponges. and <laughs> I do make them. And I have to tell them up, up and down, up and down, and instead of um, smearing it everywhere because it dries so much faster. And then, then they take their project home at the end of class, then they're not taking home dripping wet painted projects. There you can see that I accidentally got some paint on the corner and I'm just gonna dab it with the other color and voila it's like magic so I'm cutting this down to the size the width of that stripe so that it just goes right on and it covered so pretty and look how cute that is I'm gonna finish it off with the finishing wax again just put a little bit on my cloth you don't even have to use that brush you can just put a little bit on the cloth and sometimes I just use the cloth. Like I'll just use an old t-shirt cloth and just rub the paint really, you know, not hard, but really firmly. And sometimes it'll just make a, a nice slick coat. But I do love that finishing wax. And then I guess I'm gonna do a little bit on that crate to give it a nice little, well, just because if you're gonna have it somewhere and you wanna um, be able to dust it, then you wanna have that nice little slick finish. Okay, so I had ordered these as um, decor for the baby shower. They are paper, but they have a nice slick finish on them. And so I wrote, you know, we played that. You have to wear the diaper pin. Everybody gets a diaper pin when you come in. And then if you say the word baby, you get your diaper pin taken away. And then the person with the most diaper pins at the end of the party wins prize. So this was gonna hold the diaper pins at the, at the entry table when the guests came in. And then afterwards, I just took that little sign off and she got to take this home to put whatever in it she wanted to. She could put some greenery in it. I don't even know what she did with it. I haven't seen the baby's room, but um, so I'm gonna just do some wood glue for a, you know, a firm forever hold and then just some hot glue to do a, a quick hold, uh, for now hold, so that it'll hold quick. Okay, so I'm gonna just put a little hot glue on this little, plastic coated paper, and then I'm gonna glue it to that skewer. It's one of those skewers from Dollar Tree so that it would stand up there and then everybody could see the little sign in case um, somebody didn't tell everybody that it was just pretty self-explanatory what they should do. And I think it turned out super cute. Everybody thought it was cute at the shower too. And here's the diaper pins. Ordered those on Amazon in bulk. another little piece that I made that I didn't record making but it was super simple and super cute I hope you liked this video if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe leave me a comment and thanks for watching